I went to the Detroit Comic Book and Toy Show in Dearborn on April 27th. So, let's check it out. Hey, thanks for checking out my comic closet. I'm Lynn. I'm at the Detroit Comic Book and Toy Show in Dearborn, Michigan. It's at the Ford Community Performing Arts Center, something like that. So I've got to go in and find it. I think I'm in the right place. I don't see any signs much, but I'm pretty sure I'm in the right place according to my GPS. So I'm going to go in and check it out, see if I can find a couple of cool books.
like camera.
is a wonderful show put on by a wonderful promoter. Martin yeah, Hershack is one of the greatest promoters in the area. that up on eBay, you'll find our stuff.
see, there was a lot of video, um, a lot of dealers, a lot of vendors, other dealers of other stuff, you know. But it was mostly comics. Because they did have people signing. And they had some artists there. They had some displays. You can see the Aurora display, which I think was Marty's, the guy that puts the show on, Marty Herchek. That Aurora, the dinosaur model display, I think was his. You know, there was a Dr. Seuss display. There was a um, moon landing display. And I don't have any details on all that, but I mean, that was the first one. You should check it out next year. Actually, he's got the Clawson Toy Show. There's another one coming up. Clawson Comic Book and Toy Show coming up in a couple weeks, I think, like a month. I'll, I'll have that on my next video because I'm going to get through this. Now I'm going to show the books that I picked up from that show. And before we really get going here, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up, you know, a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to pick up subscribers. When I get to 250, I'm hoping to, I'm going to give away a slab, some type of a slab, most likely a 9.8 slab. So I appreciate everybody that's subscribing. I appreciate everybody that's watching. You know, if you want to know when more of my videos are coming out, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell and I'll give you a, an alert every time I make a new video, which is like once a week. Sometimes I make a couple of videos a week. Actually, I think I'm going to make two this week because this one's kind of long and I want to show what I picked up for New Comic Book Day. So this one's not more, I think this one's going to be pretty long because of the video footage. Yeah, so it was the Detroit Comic Book and Toy Show on April 27th. And it was at the Ford Community and Performing Arts Center, which you can see at the beginning there. And um, they had this little um, like program for it. Welcome to the show. A little introduction written by Marty. Really good guy. He has booths set up too. He's got some great books. And then they had you know, like the, the prehistoric scenes from the Aurora models. Special exhibit of the moon landing. And Dr. Seuss, you saw there in the beginning. Oh, and then this week is your special guest, which I didn't realize this was in here. They had a spot for each guest to sign in this program, and I didn't didn't do it. I saw Aaron did from Amp Comic Cleaner. He was there. He um, took this in and had every one of them signed, and some of them did little sketches and remarks. Now there's the diagram of the floor. Richard Cumley, Eric Hodson. I'm not really sure who any of these guys are. Now, Arvel Jones, he did a lot of Marvel and DC books. And I, I, I was looking, he was at a couple other shows, and I was trying to find some books by him. They always have stuff there, and Robert Krause. But I did not get anything signed by him. I didn't get anything signed at this show. Bill Morrison was there, which is why I put these up. Um, Bill Morrison signed and sketched this. I think at Motor City, it might have been a Great Lakes Comic Con or at Motor City. I'm not get to look at the date. And then he also signed this is a Simpsons one, the 9 4. And then I have a raw copy that I should have taken here. Plus, I've got a couple of other Simpsons books. But anyway, that's why I stuck these up here. And then these are other books I've had signed by celebrities. This is signed by Ming Na Wen, who plays um, Agent May. Both of these are signed by Ming Dao Wen. That one came back in a 9 8. Really great cover. She signed it. The Cavalry Agent May. And this one's also signed by Clark Gregg, played Colson. And then that's signed by Jonathan Frake. Came back in 9 8. Beautiful um, photo cover. And then those down there are signed by William Shatner. The um, Star Trek number one at the end is signed by William Shatner in 9 6. There's a raw copy for reading or. Checking it out, or I, it does pertain to one of these books I got here. And then that's Tech World, which is a, I think a novel called Tech Wars that Shatner was involved in writing. And he also started, I think, a miniseries or a series. It was back in the 90s or something, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, and then the Clawson, Comic Book and Toy Show, in Clawson, Michigan, right on Main Street, on June 1st. So oh, these are the books that I picked up at the Detroit Comic Book and Toy Show on April 27th at the Ford 
Community and Performing Arts Center in Dearborn, Michigan. So, first thing I grabbed, these were all dollar books. I found a bunch of, not really the first thing I grabbed, but these were the dollar books I grabbed. They're going to go up a little bit in price as I go through them here. There's Johnny Crust number one. That's a comico book, which I forget who it says the artist is down here. Oh, Doug Wiley. But he, um, I think these were written by William Mesner Lobes, which I have, I think, three Johnny Quest books. One with Dave Stevens cover. that are all signed by William Mesner Lobes. He did a really great job on them. They look really good. And I didn't get them out and bring them here. <laughs> I didn't find them yet. But then I also got this oh, Beowulf Dragon Slayer because it was a dollar and it's Beowulf in the dragon's mouth because I also got this I think I showed last week I bought one of these but I had another because I do have another of these Beowulfs Hulk 202 where Hulk's fighting a big warthog looking monster. And of course he is in the warthog monster's mouth. If you're catching a theme there, I do collect, I'm trying to collect up some of these books that are where the protagonist or the person on the cover is in the beast's mouth. Similar to this, actually this is not, this is um, Shannon the She-Devil, four of four miniseries. She's not quite in the beast's mouth there, but she's in pretty bad shape. But she always gets away. This is Shanna She Devil. Survival of the fittest of these this series is. And she's fallen into the T-Rex's mouth. So she's pretty much in the dinosaur's mouth there. And then I have this. Midnight Suns Unlimited, number one, which I just, for a dollar, I grabbed it. It's a nice looking book. I know I have a copy of it, but it's an awesome cover. I believe the Midnight Suns are going to be coming up here when they do Blade, which is why I also grabbed this Night Stalkers, number, what is this, is number one? Look. Well, this is Night Stalkers 10. I have that graded in a 9.8. I think I had that up last week or the week before. And then I grabbed this Battlestar Galactica number one. Because it was a dollar and because um, Katie Sackhoff's coming to the Motor City Comic Con. Which I don't know if that's supposed to be here. I think this is supposed to be, this is from the original series actually. So she wouldn't be represented in these. I also got this Blade Runner from Marvel Comics, Blade Runner number one, which has got Harrison Ford on the cover there. I love Blade Runner movies. Um, well, the first movie, I always thought it was awesome. I watched the second one, I thought it was really good too, really. Kind of a crazy way they tied it all together. I think it looked good there, all right. So I got Blade Runner 1, and then I think this is the 10th book, which I used to read these all the time when I was a kid, and this is Metamorpho number 1, which I liked the Metal Men when I was a kid, I read a lot of those, and Metamorpho, I thought he had, you know, educational, right? You learn more, you learn about the elements and about science, but that's Metamorpho, the Elemental Man Returns, but I don't know if this was, you know, how many volumes, but pretty, somewhat old. But it's a um, cool book for a dollar. So then after that, I think these books were two dollars. I think these were from Jamie and Jay. I'm not sure. Now, I think that's who the booth was. These were from Poppin' Comics. They had a bunch of boxes that were two dollar books. So this is Star Trek The Motion Picture number two. And this is actually the... Uh, Second issue that, I don't know if it's just a two-part story, 
Vengeance of Vigor. And then I also grab this Spider-Man, what I call the adjectiveless Spider-Man. Number three, where Spider-Man's upside down, the spelling is. But it's a um, pretty cool series. And they got this one, which is adjectiveless Spider-Man number two has the lizard who was one of my favorite spider-man you know characters um villains back in the day so and then i grabbed this it's actually fantastic four number three but it's the coming of galactus i believe i meant to look at it i kind of have an idea that may be um reprint of fantastic 448 i'll check in a little bit and then I grabbed this Predator versus Magnus Robot Fighter. You see, there's the book up here on the wall that I had signed by Jim Shooter. So I grabbed another one. I had actually had two of them signed by Jim Shooter. They both came back 9 0s. So I'm going to one of them will come back much higher. But it's a cool cover. You know, Predator's always cool. And then of course, Magnus Robot Fighter, and I'd say I have this whole series. And then I got these books. Now, these were books that were in a box. Everything was marked $10, and they were half price. So I grabbed this Marvel Universe Master Edition, which, as you can see, it's got Yondu. If this has got, you know, a description of all the characters in here from A to Z. A to Y, and this one had Yondu, and I had, I ripped the page out of my original one, and I had Michael Rooker sign the Yondu page, and had it put into this slab. It's not graded, but it's just, it's a, you know, certified witness signature, so I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, and then I, wait on these, got this Silver Surfer 14, actually, it's a fantasy masterpieces edition of Silver Surfer 14. So I grabbed that up and it's funny because I found some last week at a much better price. But this is really nice, really nice shape. It was really hard to find. This is actually the last issue in the fantasy masterpieces series. And then I grabbed this. Amazing Spider-Man 224. Just to add to my PC, trying to you know fill out my whole Spider-Man run. It's a kind of a cool cover with the Vulture. 60 cent book, is it? Yeah, 224. And then I have this all new Amazing Spider-Man, no ads, 32 pages, number 274. So I grab that. It's not that old, it's a 75 cent book. But it's got the floating heads, Spider-Man's all down and out. And all the main characters are behind him as floating heads. And I always kind of like the floating head covers too. And then I actually grabbed this Bloodshot number one as a reader copy because I have a Bloodshot number one that I won in a raffle at the um, Great Lakes Comic Con. Actually, it, wasn't a, it, it was a raffle that turned into a trivia contest because it was the end of the night. Most of the people were gone. They drew a bunch of numbers and nobody claimed them. So they did a trivia and I answered the question and I got this. So then I had it signed by Kevin Van Hook and Shooter in a slab here. I didn't dig it up, but I forgot everything I had in here. I grabbed a bunch of books. Oh, these, I believe were books I got. Just Joe King? Oh, I can't remember now. But you see, anyway, they were there, and they have these bags now. They got boxes like dollar books. Get this bag, fill a bag for $5. Many bags, as many as you can put in it. Oh, yeah, and also something else I did get. Not from Just Joe King, but from a guy who had a little booth. He had a lot, a lot of cards, actually, which were these. 
Battlestar Galactica cards. I don't know if you can see that. But I grabbed a couple packs of those because um, Katie Sackhoff is actually going to be at Motor City Comic Con. And I've got a couple books that I want her to sign. So I grabbed those cards, I don't know, just for the heck of it. Because they were sitting there and I thought they were kind of cool. Actually, I don't know much about the series, but I just downloaded it, the whole first season onto my Kindle to watch it. Because I think these were all $2 books. Also, this is Cloak and Dagger number one. I do have a copy of this, but I don't think it's in that good a shape. Not as good as this one. It's a nice book. And I grabbed these classic X-Men number four. Which is, I think, an awesome cover with Rogue. And then this is the classic X-Men number three, which has got the bordered cover. A lot of people collect those just for that. Because that's going to help out in a minute. And then I grab this Dark Horse Comics, number six. It looks like it's um, Indiana Jones cover and tentacles. It's got tentacles on it. There you see. And then I did find some more. This is the Battlestar Galactica number five. I believe that is supposed to be Starbuck, which is Katie Sackhoff's character on the cover there. And then, and that is a Marvel comic. I found this Dynamite Comics Battlestar Galactica Zero, which has got Katie Sackhoff's character on the cover and her in a red dress, which is similar to what I thought this character might be wearing. And then I found this one which is what I was looking for. I looked up and saw that these were on eBay. I think I did see that one, but I did see this one. This is the one I was looking for. Alternate variant cover of Dynamite Belter Galactica number zero, which is a photo cover of Katie Sackhoff in the red dress. So I may, I'm going to have that signed by her. And this is the card pack. I know I'm going to at least get that book signed by her. I'm going to um, press it myself here. It just you know, looks really nice. Looks like it's got a little bit of a spine wall, a little bit of a bend in the corner. But yeah, I'm going to clean it up and press it a little bit before I have it signed. Probably both of these. I think it's a hundred bucks a signature. So that's kind of a cool looking book too. I think I might get both of those signed. And graded by, um, I'm not sure who's there, if Cody Lockwood Lute's going to be there, I'm hoping. But anyway, so those are all those dollar books I got from there. And then I found these books. It was just an older fellow. I think I showed his booth in the video. And I don't remember his name, but he had these, they were really nice. I think these were, yeah, he, he had four bucks each on these, right? Yeah. Tarzan, Warlord of Mars, John Carter, Dark Horse book. This is issue four of four, and three of four. Two of four. You see, that says Blevins. I think these are what Brett Blevins covers. And then one of four. As I, I know I always say, but I read all the Tarzan novels. A lot of the John, most of the non, I think I read all the John Carter stuff and Pellucidor. A lot of the stuff from um, Edgar Rice Burroughs when I was a kid. And I love to see how they depict the characters, you know, the Martian men and the white apes, so. And then, I grabbed one more, um, did finally get a slab, 
they picked up, which this was a pretty expensive slab. It was like 30 bucks, I believe. They're not going very high right now. As you see, I have three of them, very similar already, plus I have the raw copy of the original. I need to get a, raw, a, a, a slab copy of that. But I do have um, this one now in a 9.8. So I can put it up here with that. And in the last big book I bought, you can see there is Fantastic Four from 55, which have for $100. And I believe that it is the fourth, fourth appearance of the Silver Circle. So, they didn't have any raffles going at this show. So I didn't get anything, I didn't win anything at this show. But I did go to a show called the New Lights Hall Show on May 5th. And I did win something. And actually, the wall might not change a whole lot because it might pertain to that. But I'm going to be making a video on that next. Alright, so don't forget to give me a like. Comment down below, share, and subscribe. Um, like I said, looking to get to 250, so once I get to 250 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. If you see any of these books that you're interested in, anything that you want to trade for, buy, anything you got to sell that I might be interested in, you know, you can contact me through my Instagram page at any time. Um, it's my underscore comics underscore closet just like the youtube channel or you can um email me at mi.comicscloset one word comics with an x at gmail.com should be blowing up over my head so appreciate you checking me out here in my comic closet we bring comics and comic collecting right out of the closet so thank you